Welcome everyone to the channel. Today we're going to look at an HO scale 836 piece architectural assortment kit that I picked up on eBay that just came in the mail today and this was also on the site. There are some pillars in here. We got some nice fluted pillars. We have a set of 12. And then we have some two-story larger pillars, two sets of those. And there's two packages of I-beams. And we have capitals for some pill pillars. These would be very handy. I can't wait to build something and use these. He was nice enough to throw these in with free shipping with the... Uh, with this larger kit that I got, I, I got the pillars for like uh, I think sixteen fifty. This box here, and he included it in the shipping with this one, which was nice of him. And what we have here is going to be a bunch of stuff, probably similar to the smaller kits that I've opened, but a lot more, a lot more things. These also come with a um, detailed list and parts number. So if you're in the middle of a project and you run out of something, all you got to do is look up these part numbers and you can find them. You can find these on eBay. You can find them on their website. Um, I got this kit for for like a hundred and about a hundred and twenty bucks for shipping. I think it sells for 130 something plus shipping on the regular website. So shopping around on eBay saved me a few dollars. And I was in the middle of building this garage here and I ran out of a few parts that I needed. So I, I needed a door, just a regular door that's going to go right here and a window that I didn't have. I had some, but not the kind that I wanted. So I built this garage. A few weeks ago, this goes with uh, Bree's house from uh, over here on a TV show. Actually, it's for the uh, Munsters. Um, I'm doing a Munsters diorama. I'm doing the whole street, and this this house sits across the street, so I'm putting it in the diorama. But anyway, I got some better pictures and didn't realize that, that this side here was totally different, so I'm making another copy now that I got better pictures. And so the real, it really looks like this instead of this other one. So I'm going to, when I get finished with this one, I guess I'll just paint this one a different color and put it with another house or something. Um, I really don't like doing things twice, but sometimes you have to to get it right. That's just the way it goes. So I'm very happy with it so far, especially now that I got the parts that I'm going to need. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Very nice. I had uh, one of these that I was looking at the other day, and it has a window sash that actually slides up and down. As small as these, as small as they are, you can put a sash in here that slides up and down on some of them. Pretty neat. Nice large window. Yeah, I found myself limited with with. Uh, just the two smaller boxes that I have, so it was neat to find this larger kit. So many more options. It's, it's awesome. Here's one of those type windows. You can put this smaller window down here and actually, oh, maybe not on this one, but some of them slide up and down. That'd be more of a factory type window. You could set it so it swings out, I think. So many different styles, this is great. Nice architectural round window. Very cool. If you're gonna buy these kits, the small, again, you can buy them just by parts. You can buy these individual parts, but they're pretty pricey, three or four dollars a piece. So it makes more sense for me to just buy the big kit 
Oh, that one's broken. Oh, well. Oh, wow. Four little arch windows. This would be nice. I like that. Lots of different window choices. I'm impressed. Very cool. I like the little wainscoting at the bottom of this one. Be neat for a storefront or something, maybe. There's one little loose window. This also comes with the um, the window glazing kits. You can put in there so you have the glass. That's pretty neat. I haven't seen it. It says it's in there. I guess it's in the very bottom. Every kind of window you can probably think of. They're pretty neat. It looks like something you would see in a farmhouse. I think good for a downtown office building. Some smaller ones. A lot of doubles and triples. Some nice small windows. There's not just windows. There's doors in this kit. There's railings. I see some light post. Um, balusters. Finials. All kinds of stuff. So far I'm just seeing windows, but there's a lot of other things in this box. There's some shutters. Few different types of shutters, I believe. Wow, I might not have to buy another kit for a long time, hopefully. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. You can take the smaller window, place it in there, and it actually slides up and down. Well, these little archway windows are very cool. Yeah, all of my buildings here are just mostly made of poster board and matchsticks. And then these plastic windows and doors to finish them off. Oh, that's a, that's a set of doors. Okay. Those are like interior doors. Very neat. This even has the handles on the, even has a doorknob. All right, we got six of those. Nine of those so far. Cool. That's a whole new style of door I, I didn't have before. That's neat. Maybe part of the way off in windows. These long archway windows are narrow. That's pretty neat. Oh, those are nice. Very cool. Oh, another broken one. Hmm. And two broken sashes. This is a, it was sealed taped shut, so it isn't like they were broken and the guy sold it to me afterwards because it was factory sealed. Not enough to complain about. I probably fix it with some super glue. Those are nice size. Oh, okay, more of those doors. Are these okay? Must be some kind of inserts that go in there, like a screen door, probably. Huh. 
I know what you could use for your screening material on something this small. You could use a micro screen, but then you wouldn't be able to see through it. I don't know. I guess that's a storm door, screen door, I believe. I guess you could just put glass in it. There's a lot of glass storm doors. Yeah, that'd be the simplest thing. Oh, there's some nice bigger round windows. That's neat. And they even have the frames for like garage doors and if you have some double door openings and stuff. You got the threshold at the bottom and the frame for the door to go in. It's pretty cool. I'm going to try to keep my doors separate from the windows. There we go. I was thinking about cutting all of these free and then getting me one of those um, like containers with drawers that open and close for nuts and bolts and things and slide in and out and maybe just filling them up with different style windows and doors. That way I don't have to keep going through the box every time I want something. Just maybe take a picture of each window and put it on the door or something. Okay, here's some more frames with the thresholds and everything. Oh wow, look at this. The entryway, that's cool. A little whole entryway here. That's pretty neat. The side lights. Or side, well, I mean, I guess just wood panels, but hmm, interesting. Tons of windows. <clears throat> I shouldn't be running out of windows again anytime soon. Oh, wow. Well, uh, I've got these little pieces that go on top of the telephone pole, I guess. It looks like to me. And wires. I'm assuming that's what that is. Some more windows, some large ones. Oh, this is a door frame. Okay, this has the threshold at the bottom. And these are all door frames. I guess. Hmm. It could be used for interior mostly, I would assume. Some more door frames. Oh, finally some more doors. Oh, very nice entry door. Kind of a craftsman style looking door to me. I really like the lighting at the top. Oh, There's a nice set of doors there. More screen doors, storm doors. More storm doors. Yeah, here. Oh, that's a neat looking window. Or could that be a door? I think that's a door frame. Yeah, that's a door frame. Okay, very nice. More of an interior style door frame, I do believe. More storm doors. Got a bunch of those. Ah, these little round windows. Not round. Little. These little windows like this. This is what I needed for the garage I'm working on. I needed one of these to go next to that door. Got those. Here's a set of double doors. Very nice. What do we have here? Okay, these are like... I guess these could be garage doors. Any kind of door you want it to be, I suppose. Kind of looks like a double office door. Now we got some... Entry doors. These also kind of look like screen doors or storm doors a little bit. That's pretty neat. Oh, nice big entryway door. Very cool. Wow, check that out. That's a very nice looking door. Double doors. Some more double doors. Let's have the some window at the top. Another door frame. Windows. Windows. This is another door frame with transom window at the top. Different. We got window. 
Oh, those are nice. That's doorways again. With the, got two more of those. Garage door with the frame. These are just like the doors I have on the garage back here. Same thing, except I, I cut them in half so I could make them swing open. Oh, this is a nice, very nice kit here. Look at that. Oh, that's neat. I think these all go together and make one unit, like a storefront or something, maybe. That's interesting. Very nice. Another one of these fancy entryways. Traditional entry door. Now we have some new shutters. I don't know what that is. If there are shutters, they're the weirdest looking shutters I've ever seen. I'll have to look into the list catalog, figure out what that is. Nice doors. Same doors. Some different ones. These could be windows or doors, I guess. More of these little black pieces. I'm not sure what these are for. I'm going to have to look into that. Hmm. More door frames. Got two more sets there. Here's some really small windows. I think these are lids for barrels. Yeah, there are some barrels that came with this, and those are the lids. Yeah, wow, well, look at this. Nice railing with the balusters. Hard to focus in. That is a railing. Very cool. Some more entry doors, or this could be interior doors. Some more arch windows. Another type of garage door with a frame. Or just be a double door. This could be a gate or garage door with a frame. Nice doors. These are all the same style door. Same style door. Oh, here's some little tiny doors. I don't know if these are for like a really small door. Nice garage door. We got some industrial style doors for building. Some more railings and the catwalk piece. This will be very handy. I am still not sure what these are for. So they go together to make something. Oh wow, check this out. Some kind of framework or corbels or something. I guess that's framework for something. The ladder. Nice ladder. Two of those. I guess you can make a whole stairway with those railings. Well, that's pretty neat. Another railing. Balusters. Uh, not sure. I guess this could be wrought iron gates or something. Here's some balusters, a railing. They seem awful tall for HO scale. They usually cut them in half. I don't know. Here's some decorative roof finials. These are pretty neat. Here's the barrels they came with. I'm getting low on time, so I'm going to show you what's in the box still here in case I gotta run. Dinner's almost ready. Some more windows. Another door. I am not sure what these are for. I'll have to look into that. On the part sheet. These are corbels. Decorative corbels for a soft lid. That's what those are. Uh not really sure what that's for. I'll have to look at the parts list. 
Doors. This is the best kit I've ever seen. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Wow, look at this. A beautiful entry door. I think these are lights, like security lights or something, I believe. Nice doors. Doors. I don't know what that is. They are very, very small. I don't know what that is. What is this? Is this shutters? And beams? I'll have to look that up on the parts list. I'm not really sure. There's a bunch of them, whatever they are. It's like beams. Steel girder pieces. I think they got rivets in them or something. More finials or something. I'm not quite sure. Maybe more rivet pieces. I guess so for the beams. I mean, like construction. Oh, there's a nice banister. Two pieces there. I don't know what that is, but they have a part sheet to tell you. Oh, those are more corbels. Those are very nice and detailed. Look at that. Fluted corbels. And I think these are more finials. Blue finials, I think. This is a coal chute. You put it together for a coal chute. Oh, really nice looking banister. Oh, that's nice. I might use this on the Munsters build for the fence. What do we got here? Well, it's some kind of railing. Like your industrial railing. Oh, here are the light posts. This is great. I need these for the street, for the Munsters build. I'm glad those are in there. I guess these are lights or something. Make lights. We have some kind of Bars for like jail doors or something. More corbels, I think. A bunch of them, all different sizes. And this is some framework for the fire escape, I believe. Shutters, two different kinds there. I don't know what that's for. It reminds me of something you see on a ship. Or, I guess, a street grate or something in the city. Another railing. Another railing. This is a fire escape. Small windows. Here's a really nice, small, detailed railing. The railings are going to be nice. Another set of lights. I don't know what those are. <laughs> More shutters. And here are the the pieces for the windows. All the windows have have a sheet for each one of those, so that's cool. A few more doors. Chimney piece. Alright, man, this kit is huge. I guess that about sums it up. I'll be right there. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Wow, look at how big this kit is. Have a great evening. I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks for watching.